Hello guys, welcome to this week's episode of the Firewire Show. Do not go anywhere because in this video we'll be showing you the awesome Rode shotgun microphone which is lightweight for your camera, why you should use it, why it's so good and later on in the video I'll give a little description of how to set up particularly that microphone and well more in general sort of any shotgun microphone just the easiest way to set it up with your camera. So do not go anywhere, lots to get through. So we go to Cam 2 and we look straight at the Rode microphone. I've just found this awesome video. Uh, we're just briefly um, showing you what it basically looks like. So this Rode microphone is a shotgun mic. It has a very nice little gold-plated um, audio jack which plugs into the back there, as you can see. And I believe it has an off on and off button, but I haven't actually seen it to be fair. But basically you just plug that into the back, plug it into your audio jack on your camera. Let's just have a look at that again. I think that's just a nice little spin there for you. And I really like this, like the way the, um, I don't know, makes it look like an orc or, you know, ready for battle. I'm probably exaggerating a little bit there, but I do quite like that red um, sort of protective feature. It's quite good so you don't accidentally knock the microphone. It looks quite cool as well. And you're probably thinking, why do I need a microphone like this? So for those of you who don't already know, um, audio is half of any video or film that you're making and more importantly if you want to upgrade your audio a really good microphone is a great way to do that now phones and cameras do have pretty good external microphones nowadays but to extend and level up your video a shotgun microphone is one of the many ways to definitely improve your audio now something like a shotgun mic is very handy so if you've got a shotgun microphone on your camera I would say it's good to up to about a meter away it can record further away than that but for really good audio have it pointed towards you and it just gives that really nice sound and the best place I would say to use this as well as in indoor filming stuff like that as I will show you later in this video and uh Please smash like if you're getting value. Um, but what I will say is, especially when you're recording outside using something like a shotgun microphone like this, like the Rode shotgun microphone, is a great way to level up your audio. So especially if you're outdoors or it's windy, if you haven't got that, you'll get the very annoying noise which I've spoke about in other videos and that's something that's really really annoying you do not want that in your videos I mean trust me I've done that many a times and I like the fact that you just plug and play is literally easy to use there's no like setup there's no insulation you know literally anybody can use this you literally just connect it to the top of your camera or if you're using a phone get yourself like a little um, phone cage and then attach it to the top. But obviously with a camera, they usually have phone uh, microphone clips on the top. You just clip it on, as I will show in a moment. And it's just a really good way to level up your audio. And this is really good. And the audio quality of this particular microphone is really, really good. Let's just have a little close up then on this microphone. So there you go, you got the cool logo, which is really cool, that really nice, I'm gonna call it the Red Fire, which makes it look really cool and it's really easy to attach. You just, as shown in that video before, you just attach it in the back of the microphone and off you go. And you've got that really nice foam windbreak there, which is really good so, you know, the audio won't peak too much if you get too close to the microphone. And especially, as I've just said, if you're outdoor filming, um, it's just a great way to block off that annoying wind noise, giving you really nice audio. And obviously you don't have to just use this for head videos. And you could use it to record sound effects if you want, voiceovers, um, just, you know, audio recording in general. It's just a really good microphone. And obviously you don't even have to connect it to um, your camera if you don't want to. You could actually have an extended audio jack. Um, you could put it on a separate tripod. You could have it close to you that way. You could use it like a boom mic above you. There's no reason why you couldn't experiment and use it for all different things. Smash like if you're getting value and definitely consider subscribing if you're getting value from this video. You want to get value from this video. So just briefly then, I just want to show you how to set up pretty much any shotgun microphone. Now today, I'm not going to go into much detail on this, but I'm going to use um, my M50 um, to show you how to set up the audio. Now literally all cameras, or most decent cameras, should have a audio clip there, as you can see. Um, and I'm just going to use, this is the first shotgun microphone I grabbed. This is just a mini version of what I've just been showing you, really. And it's really easy to use. You just literally just connect it 
um, to the top of your camera. Trying to do this through the camera is interesting. And then you just screw tight, just gently. Don't over screw it. You don't want to damage the microphone or the camera. There it is all ready to go. This one actually has a switch on it. Um, and on that Rode microphone, you just connect the cable in the back um, and that sort of thing. And then in this particular camera, you just find your mic jack, which is there, usually located with mic on it. Pretty straightforward, really. Um, and then you just connect it off and connect your audio jack like so. Connect it in and off you go. Now, in this particular microphone, just make sure you turn on the microphone. That has a massive power tip. That is something I've done wrong many a times. Um, it doesn't look like the Rode one actually has one, it doesn't matter. And that's literally your, your camera is ready to go. So you can see you've got that really nice microphone feel. You've got the windbreak on the top. You're ready to go film outside, which is a great thing to do when filming outdoors. Connect to a tripod and off you go. There's nothing easier. So what are you waiting for? I've got a link to this um, Rode shotgun microphone, which I'll be talking about in today's video. Please go and check out the link below. It is an affiliate link. And if you've got value from today's video, smash like, hit subscribe, and I really will consider consider checking out this microphone it is really good value it's at the moment it's going for 50 pounds which will be slightly more than that in dollars depending on what part of the world you live in but please check out this microphone it's really really good and will bring your videos absolute value so before you go anywhere check out our two end links at the end of the video which will give you absolute value and i just want to say question the day then what microphone type do you use? This be really interesting to know. Put it in the comments below. So thanks again for watching and check out the end cards. Boop, 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 boop. You want to get value from this video?